everyone, this is Mr. Clown Zero One, and today we're looking at the newest in the Star Wars Muppet series. It's Link Hogthrob as Han Solo and Carbonite, Animal as Boba Fett, and Scooter as Lando Calrissian. Now this is a very large and very heavy box, or a package. I mean, it's a Disney Park only. It goes with the others, which was I was very interested to see that. If you look on the back, you still have the others in the series that I previously did. And you have this one added. I'm kind of surprised at that. I, I, in a way, I'm glad because I don't have much room for many more figures. And it, but it's kind of nice they have this as part of this series and not the start of a new series. I hate to say that, but I'm like I say, I'm, I'm glad this is part of the other one. It's 18.95. I think that's a pretty good deal for three figures. Although I guess you could argue that Link in Carbonite isn't really a figure. But I, I would say it is. So now I'm going to open them up and we're going to look at the figures. We'll look at Link Hog, Hogthrob. It's hard for me to say that, sorry. In Carbonite. It's kind of nice. On the side they put some detail and they actually painted the detail. This is a really cool feature instead of just having this be a chunk of plastic. This also has some weight to it. I mean it's not ultra light. A detail on the other side and the back is sealed. That's a nice touch they have it where it, it just feels more weighty that way instead of the hollow back like I remember the original toy when that came out in what was it the 80s? It was it just was hollow and you got it and you put it in your um, slave one. I never really liked that. This has some real heft to it and it's it's a really nice sculpt too. Here we have Scooter as Lando Calrissian. Now I've taken the cape off just to show you the cape. We'll go over that here in a second. I want to show you the figure first. Uh, let's do articulation. He's got a head. The glasses are a separate piece and they're held in by little pegs. Arm. He's got socket at the um, shoulder. He's got a cut joint at his elbow. And he's got swivel on the wrist, and that's true of both hands. Okay. I think he's got, yeah, he's got waist articulation, like I thought. Now his feet and legs are static. And he's got, of course, head. If I didn't go over that, I'm sorry if I did. And here's his cape. Now his cape is really nice. It's got paint detail on the inside. And he's got this little hook right here, or this little peg, that goes into his back so it stays on. So it allows you to take it on and off and pose in both ways. I'm not really sure I like him with the cape on. But there he is with the cape on. Oops. And he comes with... Uh, cape may be coming off. No, it's just the... Here he is. He comes with a nice blaster. And his hand holds it pretty well. Let's go ahead and pose him with it. pretty tight. So there we have Scooter as Lando Calrissian. Next we have Animal as Boba Fett. Now the first thing, he doesn't really stand, but they included a stand for that so that was really nice. You can just put each of the feet peg in there. That helps him stand quite a lot. The other interesting thing is, let me zoom out a little bit. For some reason, they put a rubber band right here, and I don't, maybe it's hold his hand, maybe, I don't know. But I'm going to have to get that off now. Go ahead and stop it, I'll take it off and come back. Okay, now we'll take a look at his articulation. He's got the uh, swivel shoulder, or ball joint shoulder, on both mm -hmm. sides. He's got just a cut. Um, one at the right above the elbow, just probably because he's so thin, and he has swivel wrist. Waist has some. I mean, obviously, there's none of the legs. You can't. You wouldn't. You can barely stand now without the stand. So, head's got some swivel, and he has this cool backpack. Let me give you a quick view of him, real quick. And he's got this cool, the backpack does detach. See, it's got a little peg there, so you can just pop it in and out as you want. And he has this loose piece here for the sash part. 
And I mean, this guy's got a lot of, this is a really, really cool figure. He comes with drumsticks and he comes with his blaster. And his hands have little pegs to help him hold the drums. I don't, let's see, can we see those? Zoom in. That's a really nice touch. You can kind of see the hole there. That was a really, really nice touch they did. I am probably going to display him with the drumsticks because I like that better. So let's see how that looks. Press in. They press in very easily. They're a little, because um, they're made of that bendy plastic, they're a little loose, but still you can pose them like that. Put the drumsticks down, and that just looks really nice. He also has a separate head where you can pose him with his, with the helmet on or off. I like him with the helmet off, but let's just try and do a head pop real quick, and hopefully I won't break anything. That pops out really easy. Just pop on the new one. Actually. It looks pretty nice like that. I don't think that looks like animal though. Personally, I think you need the head for that. Let's go ahead and put the backpack back on. So yeah, it's, it's a nice looking figure, but like I said, to me that's not animal. You need the face, you need the hair, you need to see the... And in fact, there's a little bit of detail under here you can see where it has this fur there, but it just doesn't come through like that. So we're definitely Gonna put that head to the side and keep that one on. That's animal. And here is his blaster. It's fairly hard plastic. Or I mean it's, it's the rubbery stuff, but it just feels a little more sturdy than a lot of it. But I will likely never pose him with this because I just like him too much with his drumsticks. So there we have Animal as Boba Fett. So this includes our look at Scooter as Lando Calrissian, Animal as Boba Fett, and Link Hard Throb in Carbonite. It's a very nice set, especially for, you know, these figures are a little on the pricey side for me, but you get three here, they're all well made for around um, 18, what was it, 18.95? I don't think that's a bad deal. And I really like the Animal. He's my favorite of the three. Um, but this concludes our look at them. Uh, leave a comment in the show notes. Let me know what y'all think of them. And as always, have a great day.